Welcome back. I am very excited to be setting up my June um, in my bullet journal. This month I have decided to join in with Jessica Starr, Story Witch, and Sammy Minos of, um, with their collab for a fairy theme. I wasn't sure at first if I would join in, but the more I started thinking about summer and it's gotten very hot where I am, um, this just really seemed to work. I've, um, as I was looking through and deciding, I started with colors first and decided on a palette that was inspired by blackberries and lightning bugs, or I don't know what they're called elsewhere in the world. Um, anyway, <laughs> so as an added layer to this, I did decide to not use any black ink, and I thought that was really fitting because fairies are something that are seen and experienced on the periphery, they're not defined um, starkly. So you saw me start uh, inking with a Tombow Twin Tone in brown. And then I went in next with my Twisby Echo fa uh, fountain pen with Alt Gold Croon ink by Rohrer and Klinger. Um, and then I am at using a few different uh, tripless fine liners. I have a darker gray that I did the first fairies with and then a lighter gray. And I did that to try to give some depth to make it feel like um, things are moving into the background there. I liked the way my fairies were as sketches before, but that's okay. Um, and then I start coloring with some Crayola Super Tips before moving into my Tombow. Um, wait, no, sorry, I don't do Tombow next. <laughs> I then do the Artist Loft in P8 and darken up um, with the Tombow. And my Tombow is actually really old. I've worn down that tip. I should probably go ahead and start using my replacement one. Um, but that is number 679 for that. So I was just kind of layering out some things, trying to make them look rich and juicy. Um, so I do apologize. Multiple times through this video, you see my head and my hair. I have edited out the worst instances, but there are still some, in part, as you will see later, because the Morgan was attacking me. <laughs> and a few times she did end up needing to sit on my back and shoulder while I worked. Um, and just to add in real quick, I do both of the fairy's hair with the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in Indian Red, and then I add in a little green for that. In just a moment, you'll see that I drive down the gray on that fairy. I come in with the blender, the Tombow blender there, and that is just to soften up their edges some. Um, and kind of make them flow into it a little more. Once I've gotten in my basic fairies and black fairies, I knew I wanted to add more, but I wasn't sure what. So I went ahead and lettered June, and I did that with the three different shades of purple. Started with my lightest um, P7 in my Artist Loft set, and then P8, and touching up the bottoms with the Tombow. Um, then went ahead and sort of penciled in where I thought some more leaves might be going, but um, I wanted to wait to just kind of see how things settled. My Unibal Signo was not working properly, so I actually did that white ink there with a thinner Unibal Signo. Um, I don't know why the ink wasn't working. Yeah, so here you can see I just started inking all of this with the uh, Twisby Fountain Pen. And then doing the shading with my green artist soft pen. And this time for the blackberries, I did not ink the sort of balls first. I just went ahead and colored them first. And checking my Sadler set, I realized I had a kind of mauvey purple I kept outlined them in. I really liked the way that ended up. So now I'm starting on the blackberry blossoms using the lightest gray to outline, and then a dot of green in the center. A um, little yellow coming out, and then my brown speckles and some light gray shading. I loved the way these flowers ended up turning out. Um, yeah. So um, now I'm actually getting to the planner part where I'm working on my calendar. 
don't know. Um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to use this more this month. Last month I did not use this very much. It just kind of goes up and down for me, but I'd rather have it and not need it than um, not have a place to write things down. So as I mentioned before, I am not using black. So that was actually a dark gray that I outlined in and then filled my numbers and dates with, um, or days, I should say, with my green. So um, here I actually bring in the second set of colors, which are my colors inspired so by blackberries, but by sort of dusk and lightning bugs. Um, it's so funny, on the video it looks better than I felt like it looked in real life and really bothered me. <laughs> um, so I did end up going and writing in it. I still didn't really love it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I wanted to add in this like, fairy hand proffering a berry. I really love the aspect of fae culture with the idea that gifts aren't actually gifts, um, that there's more than a scene and there's debt or expectation or mystery and all of that. Fairies aren't something that I especially work with in my practice. Um, I'm not really sure about them. I love them in folklore. Um, and I do leave offerings in my house for the house spirits of whatever ilk they might be. Um, so it was interesting as I was working on this just to sort of think about why am I doing it this way or that way if they aren't necessarily a part of my practice. So I am about to start inking in my trackers. Um, again, apologies for the head. Um, I am excited this month I've decided to do the cutout from the bottom instead of the side. Um, and it just barely fits on the page with my regular um, tarot tracker and mood tracker, but also to have enough room for trackers down at the bottom. Um, so I'm setting up for four here and I'll have my um, ones that I had last month, as well as an additional one that I have not decided on. Then I did decide to go ahead and line my tracker for my tarot and mood and notes with a dark gray, just to kind of help it stand out some. And then went in with my gray to differentiate a few things. And I made two errors there. And you'll see me fix one of them with um, a scrap piece of paper here and the Tombow um, little glue dispenser. One thing that's great about doing these cutouts is I have so much scrap paper um, that I can use to cover up mistakes. So it's just really very nice. So as before, I'm doing the card, a uh, column for the number, a column to mark which suit it's in, whether or not it's reversed, um, three boxes for my mood, space for notes, and then a separate space for exercise this month because it is something that I really do want to add back in and I think um, just having a little more space for that could be nice and that way I wouldn't feel so bad if I actually use my space for notes to actually talk about my tarot. Um, you also see at the bottom of those trackers I color coded a few things so I've been doing reading and writing and now there's a color for reading and a color for writing. Similarly with face, <laughs> um, there's a color for moisturizing daily and a color for doing my weekly face scrub. And you'll notice that one little yellow there is to mark Letha. All right, so now I'm working on the June goals page. I wasn't um, entirely sure what I wanted to do, so I ended up just doing a header, and this is when Morgan had had enough. Um, so I actually had to stop the video for a while and appease the tiny goddess. Um, but she was not appeased for long. She'll come back in a few moments, so I apologize for the wobbles, but I thought it would be helpful to see what I'm doing. So here I did line with the Stadler Triplis Fine Liner. Sorry that these aren't named or numbered, um, but it's just a nice little mauve color there, which adds a little depth. I do go back later, not on video, and add in some gray drop shadows um, behind this as well. So <laughs> for a while I tried to hold Morgan back, and then I actually put her on my back again. Um, and I've 
managed to edit out most of the footage where my head was just kind of down in the way. So once again, I think it's an adventure sometime. So one thing that I really didn't expect because I didn't necessarily plan how I would color these, but I really enjoyed um, leaving white space on the leaves to try to add a little bit of sense of light to them. Where I am in the summer, light can just be so blindingly bright, it almost looks like the leaves are wet. And so I really like the way that turned out. So for my clean book tracker, I am inking in brown this time, partially because I have a good um, Tombow Twin Tone for that. And with a cleaning tracker, I like using the marker end to differentiate my, I guess, titles, you would call them. Um, and the small tool I'm using there is one I recently discovered and have been loving. It is a Ames lettering guide. Um, I've only used it slightly for lettering guides just because my bullet journal already has dots in it. But it's so nice to have a tiny ruler. I know that sounds odd, but it's very nice. Um, and again, if I had thought through some of this a little more, I might would have rearranged my order of things to make them more aesthetic, but that's okay. It still works just fine. Um, so what you see me do is I actually realized that if I erased first and then did the marker and then did the labels, it was a nicer look, um, but I could only do like two at a time or else I would forget what they were supposed to be. <laughs> so yeah, sorry for all the rubbing out shakes here. So um, I'm actually writing in this part with a brown Inkjoy 5mm pen. I found a huge colored set of Inkjoys in 5mm at uh, Staples, Office Depot, Office Depot, on clearance a few months ago. And so I really was excited to have this um, brown to sort of tie into my theme. And you see there, I forgot and had to go back um, to check. I have been adding a separate space for things I want to do specifically that month for cleaning, so I'm just going to put that there on the side. And then I added in my title with my Crayola Super Tips. Again, didn't love the way that looked, but that's okay. And now I am lining in my days for my little trackers. At first I thought I could manage without those, but I really think that I will need those. So I did those with the lightest gray um, so that they wouldn't be too bold. And after all of that, I did decide that I definitely needed more leaves on my cover page. So I went back and inked in the ones I had previously penciled in and um, gave them a little marker. I kept adding leaves, so uh, there are actually additional leaves that I added in and forgot that I wasn't videoing after the fact, um, just to make it feel fuller. so that I can have a little peek through. I'm going ahead and doing the next one as well since I messed that up last month. And I really liked the way June looked um, for my mini calendar over on the monthly sort of overview, at least the calendar part. Um, so I copied that and then I went ahead and wrote in um, for my task side with my fountain pen and decided that I wanted to keep more of the fountain pen look for the weekly and less of um, the markers. So I am doing two color stripes here um, and then writing over it in fountain pen for the headers. It did cover a little um, and especially on the task when I write that in on the other side, I feathered much more than I would have liked. So I think for additional ones, I will not do the stripe under um, the header, and if I do the stripe under the header, I will definitely let it wait longer before I write. you're noticing 
Melville mm -hmm. has taken an interest in what I'm doing. The actual um, setup of this took a little over two hours, which was great for me. I um, It's a very calming thing for me, but as you might imagine, both cats became very interested. Um, but he is much more gracious about his interest, and you'll see in a minute, let me move his paw to finish coloring. Okay, so it is time for the final flip through for my June plan with me. Um, I ended up adding a few more elements that you did not see on film because the cats were becoming a bit too interested. <laughs> I really liked um, how the just line work for the leaves turned out. Um, the combo with the colored in leaves. I'm gonna leave the rest of the June just blank to so fill in as I go, and I haven't marked in any of those yet. But there is some bleed through, um, but it'll be okay. <laughs> I love the way the blackberry flowers turned out, and I'm looking forward to adding in fairies in different places. So, this is how I've tweaked my tracker um, for June. So remember from May, I had the cutout on the left side. I've changed it to a cutout on the bottom. I decided I'm still tracking reading and writing, face care, and the kitchen tidy. Um, and I will be adding a fourth, but I have not decided exactly what that will be. I'm leaning towards no spins because I feel like that lines up well with fairies and payment for things. Um, but I may end up doing something else. Um, let me see, I made a mistake here with highlighting and then I did cover this one because it does not matter um, in the mood column that I have a clean space to mark my colors. Um, you'll see I've added more to my cleaning tracker. Some things I've added doing twice instead of just once and um, it is very hot where I am right now. It is regularly up in the 90s and um, 90s Fahrenheit, so 30s um, Celsius, um, and my plants are starting to suffer, so I just want to have a good place to check that off. And this goes into the first week of June. I decided to just pull Saturday into this, um, and then for future weeks I'll go back to having my Sunday to Saturday. Um, but then I'll have my place to mark off down there. It'll be the same for this whole week. And then I do think, like previously, I'll drop it down. So I'm only seeing um, what's yet to come. That worked really well, and I hope that that will continue to work for me. So yeah, I really like the way it turned out not using black. Um, I'm excited to see how long I can get that up, and if I enjoy it by the end of June. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks to Jessica and Sammy for including the rest of us in this collab. Bye.